My conditioning is great. Uh, I feel feel great. Um, just relaxed. あの、先ほどTシャツを見たんですが、あの、かなり今回の試合というのは待ち遠しかったという感じでしょうか。T no, uh, my uh, my manager actually made it. My manager. Ah, my manager. Manager. Um, I feel like Gomi's a dangerous fighter. I feel like uh, you know he's, he's got good punching power and. Um, you know, he's got a lot of experience, you know, he's one of the, at one time one of the best fighters in the world. And, uh, yeah, I think he's a good fighter. Do you feel any difference from Gomi from the previous past or now? No. Do you see any changes in Gomi? Um, Style-wise, I don't. I feel like he's uh, he's still the same fighter. I feel like uh, you know he's when you watch him fight, he likes to do a lot of the, the same things. So, uh, so no, I don't really see a change. <laughs>
Um, it's your first travel in Japan. Uh, how do you think about this country? Um, yes, it's my first time to Japan. I, uh, I like it. You know, so far I've gotten to go out and sightsee a little bit. Um, I've got to you know meet some different people. Like I said, everybody's nice. Um, the scenery is very cool. I went and watched a movie, my first uh, movie at a Japanese movie theater. That was cool, different. Um, I wish I could eat a little bit more, but uh, besides that, you know, it's been it's been fun. Uh, uh, you fight in hostile ter territory because uh, like we have a lot of fans here. Uh, how, how, do you think this can be motivate you a little bit to, to do a little more in the, in the fight? Uh, yeah, fighting in hostile territory, I feel like it takes pressure off of me. I feel like everybody here is, uh, is you know, a Gomi fan and it's in his backyard. He's the, the name, he was the best fighter in the world at one time. So, uh, realistically, I, I, I feel like I'm the underdog. So, um, all the pressure's on him. You made uh, the, the first coming event in the event. Do you think it, uh, this is a gift for your hard work in, in outside and inside the UFC? Um, I feel like I'm in the, the coming event just because you know, I'm 5 and 0 in the UFC. I've, uh, you know, I've had some big fights and I feel like it's just natural. You know, I don't feel like it's necessarily like a gift. I feel like it's just something that kind of comes with uh, the territory when you, uh, you kind of do the do the things that I've done. Training was up because I was doing training the whole thing. I started this camp. I was 150. Uh, how how how, this camp, how come is your camp for the fight? Yeah. You're training a lot with uh, Johnny Case and uh, Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy especially have a, a, a boxing style like, like a little bit Gomi, but he is a little bit strong. But uh, how it's important to you and how do you this camp for this fight? Uh, my camp was great for this fight. It, my training is everything Very for my fights. Um, I feel like you know everybody can can want to fight and. and and say they're gonna fight and everything, but not a lot of people put the right work in. And I feel like I, I put the right work in, and my, my camp and my team is top notch, best team in the world. Well, because and uh, you're moving, the training you're wasn't easy, but it's, it's worth it. You have to, when you're 153 kilos, you stop moving, but it's hard to move. That's why you put it hard. What's that? Jeremy Stevens. Oh, sorry. Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy Stevens. That's one of my training partners. When you're doing two, it doesn't matter how. And the biggest guys are always. The last question is uh, how is your idols in MMA? You looking for some someone to emulate your your style, your strategy for? Who do I look up to? Yeah, my my the guy yeah. I look up to. And uh, you you uh, you have a uh, you are a fan of someone. Oh, a fan of someone. Uh, growing up when I was a kid, I was a real big fan of Tito and uh, GSP. Um, but nowadays, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot more mature in my career, and uh, I look up to a lot of guys like that I train with. You know, uh, Dominic Cruz, Michael Chandler, Phil Davis, Jeremy Stevens. Uh, so I like watching my friends fight, and I look up to those guys. Uh, how, uh, in your opinion, 
uh, the light, uh, lightweight divisions are very tough in the UFC, maybe the, the toughest in the, in the organization. Uh, how do you think about that? Uh, do you think uh, you, you can be uh, uh, still a short to, to make a, a fight contender? Uh, I feel like the 155 pound division is tough and I definitely feel like I can be a champion there. Um, I, honestly, I don't even really like think about it that much. I just I, I just focus on me. I, I focus on my training. I focus on myself getting better, and uh, you know, I focus on the things that are going on in my, in my life. And uh, you know, I feel like that's all you really can do. I feel like when you start looking at other fighters all the time and how deep the division is, you kind of just lose track and focus of yourself. You know, and that, that's I'm trying to become the best fighter I can be. Do you think uh, uh, you think in uh, message to Japanese fans because if you win uh, that fight, you, you need you need to to say something to Japanese fans. How, how do do you say? Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> it was an avowal say thank you and uh, um, yeah you know I, I mean the message I guess I would say is, is that I'm looking forward to uh, showcasing my skills for you guys. あ、ですか。日本大会の方をもらった時の日本大会の方をもらった時の気持ちを聞いてもらっていいですか。How did you feel Racing. Well,